PeachTools.com. G'day guys, Pete from Peach Tools, great to see you here again today. Hey, I've had a bit of inquiry from you guys. Uh, what's the lowest amperage plasma cutter that's actually useful that you can use to cut things with? I mean, I know what they say on the box and what they actually do are two different things. So today what I'm going to try and do guys is see if I can actually cut something on 15 amps only. Now why I'm going to do 15 amps is because my plasma cutter only goes down to 15 amps. It doesn't go anything below that. So we'll go 15 amps and see if we can actually have a useful cut at 15 amps. Because I know a lot of you guys are buying like the 30 amp plasma cutters. I don't know if you can buy them any smaller than that. But we'll do 15 amp and then we'll do 30 amp and we'll just show you fellas the difference. Anyway guys, same as usual, like my videos, subscribe, drop me a like, drop me a comment, come say good day, Pete at peachtools.com and um, let's get into it. If you don't know already guys, this is my Cut 40 plasma cutter and as you can see here, we're, we're 40 amp here flat out and it only goes down to 15 here. So what we'll do is we'll turn it right down and see if we'll actually cut anything, eh? So I found this piece of steel that I reckon represents a car body panel but I think it's still about half as thick again as what a body panel is because it's actually steel. It's not tin like they make the cars out of these days. So if it ends up that we can cut this with only 15 amps, it could be an ideal power setting if you're doing body work and that sort of stuff. If you haven't got a lot of available power in your workshop and you're limited to your air supply, maybe you could get away with 15 amps and a quite low air pressure. Anyway, let's give it a go, guys. All right, guys, 15 amps, but I'm still running 100 PSI, so let's have a go. Looks like I've cut it. No worries at all, well look at this. That's right the hell out of me guys. Still gonna be quicker doing it like this than what a grinder. See that guys, we're not quite through. But we're not that far away either. And that is actually steel, it's not shit metal, it's, it's actually steel. So if you were doing car body repair and that sort of thing, it's not this thick, no way in hell is the car body this thick, well it's not here in New Zealand anyway. And uh, that would be ideal I reckon. Let me try and do it with 15 amps at 40 psi, because a lot of you guys got small machines and small air compressors, so let's have a go at that. Right guys, I actually turned it down to 40 psi, let's see if it'll cut at 15 amps at 40 psi. Once again, it hasn't gone right through, but look at that. You know, that wouldn't take much. I think a lot of that is technique too. I'm not used to having that lower pressure, but that would cut through that no problem at all. And see the thickness of this, like I said before, car bodies are not that thick these days. Even if you're only running 15 amp at 40 PSI, and 40 PSI you can keep that up on a really, really small compressor. So if you had a, a 30 amp plasma cutter machine and a small home handyman compressor, well, you could do body shop work, I reckon. Anyway, let's see if it'll cut any thicker than this. Right, so now I've got a 3mm piece of plate. Compared to that piece of plate, which I reckon is probably a mil and a half. So we'll see how this cuts at 30 amp, 40 psi. Not too bad guys, eh? 30 amp. Now let's see if we can do it on exactly the same thickness, but I've turned it back to 15 amp again. See if it'll cut. We're, but we're still at 40 psi. It probably won't cut guys.
Well, I would have laid money on that, that that wouldn't have cut that, but look at that. Didn't go completely through, but it did cut it, and you kept the original shape that you wanted as well. So that's quite amazing, really. So let's turn another go at doing that, but I'll turn it up to 100 PSI. Same amperage. 15 amp, but 100 PSI. Hear that starting to splutter there, guys. What I'm going to do, because I'm running quite low power, is I'm going to put my earth right on here instead of on the cutting table. So it might just give us that little bit more extra power that we need, guys. Anyway, let's give it a go. You know, guys, I think that extra air pressure has actually hindered what I'm trying to do rather than help it. Let's just see if we can finish this cut, but I'm just going to back it down to 40 PSI. So we'll start again, guys. I've backed it back to 40 PSI, and we'll see if it cuts any better. I mean, it's very, very slow, but it will cut it. So there you go. You see, if you had to cut something this thick with a, on 15 amps, lower your air pressure. That's all I can come up with anyway. That's quite amazing, really. So, guys, my thoughts. Is a 30 amp plasma cutter any good? Well, yeah, if you're cutting body panels, and like I say, this is twice as thick as a body panel, cut through this, no worries whatsoever. And I cut through this on only 15 amps. 15 amps and 40 PSI. Oh, quite amazing, guys. And at a push at 15 amps, you will cut this, which is 3 mil. Anyway guys, same as usual, like my video, subscribe, drop me a like, drop me a comment, come say good day, Pete at Pete'sTools.com. Remember to check the description below, see what I find in my dumpsters this week, and we'll see you next time. Bye. And don't forget guys, like and subscribe to Pete's Tools. Yeah! Pete'sTools.com.